Hello everyone, I am Erica of BeadingSchool.com and you are watching Coffee Time with Erica, my weekly BD broadcast. I hope you can hear me, I hope you can see me, please let me know in a comment. You can watch this broadcast live from the Beading School Club and also from the Beading School Facebook page. And later we will also upload it to our YouTube channel. And I see already Eve saying hi, and Belinda, and Miriam, Facebook user friend, Yosin, Linda, Jill. Miriam says the tech is okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. <clears throat> Ginny is here. And Mariana is here too. Welcome, ladies. And Kata made it. I'm glad that you can take a little break from work. Sandra, Cindy, Cheryl, Ariane, Margaret. Miriam says she just had to do a very important order. I can imagine. I can imagine, dear Miriam. And Marina, Martina and Elena and Deb is here too. If you haven't heard your name, then it means that I see you as Facebook user. The broadcasting program that I'm using that enables me to put also pictures on the screen or to show you my hand camera and then switch back again to my face and whatever. It needs special permission to being able to see your name if you are watching from a Facebook group. So if you would like to enable my program to see your name so I can greet you personally, or also it makes it easier to answer your questions if you might have some, then you can click on the link that is above the video. And, but anyway, with or without name, all is good, and I'm happy that you are here. I also see Tabasco Shea and Sherry, Daniel, Antoinette, Corinne, and Sangeeta. Welcome, ladies. So lately, we have been playing with gold and silver but, and lots of red tones coming in the Lucius Light box and creating jewels while imagining that we are sitting in front of a fireplace with a warm blanket and maybe a cup of tea. So that is the atmosphere that I wanted you to feel when playing with your Lucia's light box. Yesterday was actually St. Lucia's Day and many of our beading friends here who live in Sweden, they actually celebrated Lucia's Day as it is very, very important in the Nordic countries. So ladies, I hope you had a wonderful day today. Please tell me, tell us something about the celebration that you had. What did you eat? What did you do? Please share with us something about the holiday that inspired the Lucia Slide collection as you are the best source of learning about it. In the meanwhile, Manuela joined us, and Kristen is here, and Gunel, and Zuzi is here, and Sarah, and yeah, now I can see you, Antoinette. I don't know what was happening with the last one, and Joe, and Christina is here too. So, welcome, ladies. And Cheryl, I do see you now, so you don't have to give permission again. So I'm really glad that you, many of you also made it, uh, made it uh, last Saturday to the storytelling night. Uh, as Lucia's day uh, is uh, an important one, not only in Sweden, but also in other countries. And this time Chenge brought us 
uh, tales about how it is celebrated in Hungary. So that was also very important, uh, interesting to learn about. And Linda says that she loved the storytelling. And Kristen is asking, is there a greeting appropriate for the holiday? Happy belated Lucius Light. I hope so. And we are between friends, so I hope it's okay. <laughs> and Margaret is asking if it's a big cup of coffee or, anything, or something else. It's a big cup of tea this time. <laughs> and Deborah is here too. So after playing so much with our Lucius Lightbox, and of course, more tutorials and inspiration are still coming. It's also nice to venture a little bit outside. So the sparkly winter night box that I have created for you holds just as many beauties. And it is uh, an invitation to venture outside to marvel at the beautiful dark blue sky and the stars and the moon. So it is inspired by the dark blue sky on a crispy winter night and the moon and the uh, stars are shining bright. Imagine no clouds covering the sphere. The darkness is deep blue and there is silvery snow and some golden lights of the windows in the distance and something magical is happening. And you can feel that magic when you are uh, walking around in, uh, during one of those beautiful wintry cold nights, but that magic will and can also land now on your peat mat. So I would like to show you that what's inside the sparkly winter night box. So I hope that the sound is still okay and there is no echo. Please let me know. Kata says that there is no greeting for Lucius really. The, uh, the Swedish are saying Glad Lucia. But it's uh... okay. Ariana says that the sound is okay. So, if everything is okay, then let's see what is inside the sparkly winter night box. It comes in a special glittery packaging already, so that's also different than just an everyday box. No, that no box is an everyday box at beading school, but this is even more special and sparkly. So this is what you will see when you open it. And, you know, when I showed the top of what it looks like to Adam, then he said that he loves it, that the ladies even put so much salt into it that on top you have right away all the sparkle and everything to like really suck you in into this magical mood and I didn't dare to pull out anything from this box yet because the ladies packaged it so beautifully that I didn't want to uh, want to break that magic and I wanted to open it together with you now so the first there are many many things which which are special and right away you can see four things on the top of the box that that are very interesting to create with so let's start with a winter night charm with cubic zirconia 
imagine you are walking around during that crispy night and then a little snow starts to starts to fall and you look look up to the sky and you feel like you are flying at least that's my feeling when i'm looking into the into a snow snowfall and this snowflake here it's a pretty big one it it would look beautiful at the bottom of a pendant and it is fully blinked up with cubic zirconia crystals six pieces of novet shaped cubic zirconia crystals one bigger in the middle and then several on the arms or as we learned dendrites on the snowflake the back side is a very very soft uh, soft gold color and the metal is perforated to let even through the smallest crystals a bit more light shine through the loop of the snowflake is running from the front to the back so it's not the easy attaching of the loop but you need to make the trick to straighten it to the front but no worries because i just posted the uh, illustration to the advent group that how you can make it and you can also find it on the beading school blog the little instructions on how to attach uh, components which have a loop not running sideways but from the front to the back so i hope you like it and let's see what else is in there oh nancy says that it's two degrees in ireland and it was a very cold walk and also minus 11 in stockholm so i hope you will have beautiful beautiful crispy nighttime walks soon ladies and then you might need of course a clasp for a bracelet or a necklace that you are creating and i selected for you a star shaped one a toggle clasp These types of clasps are also called OT clasps. So the T part, imagine it when there are, they are, there are like beads attached to it. And the O part in this case is the star itself. What I like about these clasps, that they come, the two parts attached to each other with a jump ring. And I actually don't need that jump ring to attach the clasp to my beadwork. I uh, bead right through the loops of the O part and the T part. And then I always put aside the jump ring and use it for something else. So this is it. It's a nice smooth clasp in the same very soft, elegant. It's called champagne gold, actually, this color. SD charm and hide on in the meanwhile and then let's look at something very special so this is something that i am pretty sure that you haven't seen before because preciosa just started to create this and right away i made the decision that we need some of these so it is a cushion cut cabochon i would say that after the round ones and after the navet shaped ones the cushion cuts these pillow shapes are the most uh, most uh, popular ones However, usually we work with 12 millimeter cushion cuts and this is an 18 millimeter one in Bermuda blue. So when I was, I might have been a little bit teasing you before the advent calendar started and I said that there will be something big in Bermuda blue. So this is what I had on my mind. 
it's a precious crystal with all the beautiful dark blue and a bit of turquoise, a bit of greenish and a little bit of purplish purplish uh, glitters inside. The backside is fully foiled with this metallic metallic foil as we are used with Preciosa and it has this nice depth. So when I when I heard that this is finally available, I knew that we need this very, very much. And Kata says that she loves my decision. So thank you so much for backing me up with this. And good morning, Cynthia. And Katarina and Elena. <laughs> and then there is something more very special that I couldn't wait to share with you. So I think besides Bermuda Blue, most of us are also <laughs> a bit crazy about AB colored things, but not when it's just like simple crystal AB, but when the AB effect, the Aurora Borealis effect is applied on something colorful, then it is truly, truly special. Unfortunately, it's also very rare to find something that is like colorful and not simply crystal AB, but jet AB. And when I discovered this, then I knew that this is, this is going to be beautiful in, in our jewels. So slightly smaller than the chatons that we are used to work with. The chatons are eight millimeter. These chaton rose cabochons, they are seven millimeter big. So chaton rose means that also the shape itself is a little bit different while the top is pretty much identical with a, with a normal chaton. The back is actually flat, so we can use it in different ways. And someone is asking, is this the mysterious 19 bead count bezel? And indeed, so you can bezel this bit smaller cabochons with square stitch bezel just as we do with the uh, eight millimeter chatons and rivolis but instead of 22 you will need only 19 beads in the circle since they are flat back then you can also easily glue them on so i i prepared this pendant here that i made uh, during our tulip mania uh, mania team and there i have a flat back actually the same size the same uh, shape of a chaton Chaton rose glued on the filigree, so you can do the same now with these new ones. You can glue them on a filigree, you can glue them, for example, on a flatbed ear stud. You can glue them on the flatbed ear stud also when they are bezeled. So imagine that you hang something from the bezel and this one will be glued on the ear stud so it will be on your ear and then the beaded motif under your ear so i think this is a great opportunity to play with your components too or if you actually need something <laughs> fast then zuzi loves doing these preciosa nacre cabochon ear studs, you can do the same with the Preciosa Chaton Roses, but they are sparkly instead of the pearly effect. And as Cheryl says, she has a great idea, also good for bead embroidery. Indeed, you can glue them on the Ultra Suede and then bead around. And Kata says, Dark Indigo is such an underrated tone. <laughs> 
but it is such a beautiful dark blue and with the AB effect, I think it looks great. So in the box, uh, you will receive six pieces of the dark indigo AB Chaton Roses. And in fact, yes, it is close to Jet, a, uh, Jet a B, but not exactly. It's, you can really see the blue in it. And then I think this box will be very nice to play with snow, uh, snowflake uh, shapes and little navets are perfect for creating such. So you will also receive four pieces of five times 10 millimeter navet glass cabochons in metal clothes settings. So there are holes running through the clothes and you can easily attach these to your beadwork. And since this is a sparkly winter night, then I selected the frozen crystal effect for you. And Robina is asking, is Preciosa going to offer the 8mm chatons in this color? Unfortunately, no. That's why I uh, went for the 7mm chaton roses, because from the chatons, uh, no AB effect is, uh, is available. Only the crystal AB, and that's not enough for us, I think. <laughs> And Cynthia is asking, is this going to continue to be in the shop? The If you mean the rose chatons themselves, then they might arrive to the bead shops too soon. And then, so you can make a good comparison of the dark indigo and the dark indigo AB. There will also be some eight millimeter Preciosa chatons included. So you will receive four pieces of the classic chatons in the dark indigo tone. And I think this is exactly the color of that very dark, very blue sky, nearly black, but not exactly. And you can even combine them, the two in one design. So I think they will look very nice next to each other. And then, of course, we need some earring findings. So, and this is another of my favorites from the Sparkly Winter Night box. So this is a pair of ear studs with cubic zirconia mimicking the shape of a star. And I think this is the earring component that has the most ever cubic zirconias inserted into the metal that I have ever seen. <laughs> so there is a big cubic zirconia in the middle, then a metal star created from the wire itself, but it's not smooth, it is textured. So even the metal part is kind of sparkly. And then there are cubic zirconias running all around the edge of the circle. So it is incredibly beautiful in my opinion. There is a loop at the bottom, so you can attach anything to it that you like. And you will receive this pair in your box. And Kata says it is like a small rose window. And Vanya, I saw you a little while ago. You asked me if I see your name. Yes, I see you, Vanya. Oh, and Belinda says that this would have been perfect for my V snowflake earrings. So I think you can always be the another v, v snowflake. It's so fast, so easy. I hope I will see another beautiful pair from you, Belinda. And Elena, 
She says, I'm in love with practically every component from this box and the colors are my favorite. That is a real sparkling treasure. I'm really happy that you like it. <laughs> but this is, this is just the beginning. We have here also six pieces of cubic zirconia cabochons uh, in the eight millimeter size. In most cases, you can use the cubic zirconia cabochons interchangeably with the Preciosa chatons. And these come in a kind of a sapphire blue color and they don't have a foil. However, the material is just special. And when you look at them, there is so much fire, I would say, inside, inside of a cubic zirconia cabochon. They look, they look really nice. They can be bezeled with square stitch. They can be bezeled with peyote. So you can use them in the same way as your preciosas. And then, of course, when we bead earrings, then we also like to hang something at the bottom or maybe for two pendants if you prefer to wear pendants. So this is a pair of Preciosa pendant drops in the color Crystal AB and the size is 9 times 18 millimeters. I selected the big one for you. <laughs> they also come in a smaller variation but I wanted the big one for you. <laughs> so you will receive two pieces and these drops have a pointed bottom and the hole is running through the top, so it's really easy to attach them. And Kata says, I still have the last year's sparkly snowflakes box, as it was so delicate, but this box overrides the definition of delicateness and deluxe. <laughs> oh, Kata, I hope that you will have the time to beat with it, and it will bring you lots of creative ideas. And then, let's imagine the snow starts to fall even more as you are walking around. And there is another snowflake that just happened to be nearby. You, as you are looking up, you notice another one. And this is a snowflake cabochon. And it comes in a blue opal matted color with some gold painting on the top. It comes from a Czech historical glassmaking family and they just recently released a couple of these when they went back to one of the historic shapes that were made in the past. So the snowflake itself and the cabochon itself is in blue mud and then between the arms dendrites of the snowflake you have the golden color the back is flat, so again, you can bezel it with peyote, with square stitch, but also if you are into bead embroidery, then this is the perfect focal for your newest pendant. I'm glad you like it, Miriam. And then for creating the snowflakes, I think besides the navet, the vex solo is a shape that really makes it makes it easy for our imagination to fly when think, thinking about, about snowflakes. So you will receive a bag of Jet AB Vexolo beads. The size is five times eight millimeter. And these have two holes and the top is domed. So it's very nice to play with them in different beaded motifs. And in the beaded motifs, you can turn them like with the pointed ends towards the center or the pointed uh, parts towards the outsides. So 
there is no one special way to use them. Or you can even use them as tiny drops below a motif. And Ula says she loves the back solos and can't have too many. And hi, Faye, I just saw you. <laughs> and then we need, of course, some fire polished beads. And the uh, sizes that we use most of the time are the three and the four millimeter ones. And I selected packages for you in two special coatings called from the heavy metal series. So one is the heavy metal jet dark blue and then the heavy metal jet comet. And please note that the colors of the fire polished beads can vary. So there are two, three colors which all match each other that can vary in your box. And in my case now, the three millimeter comes in jet comet and the four millimeter comes in jet dark blue. And then we need, of course, bicon beads. <laughs> and for the uh, golden windows, when you are walking around and the light or a candle is shining through a window in the, in the evening, then for those golden tones, I selected the crystal full or preciosa bicon beads. And then, of course, we also need some milky beads. And that's what is left at the bottom of my box. So you will receive two colors of round 15 milky beads, one silver and one gold. The gold can also vary, so um, there are two similar shades that can appear in your, in your box. And then to darken a little bit the full color palette, we have, have some round 11s in this color dark bronze. And we also have some half tilas in black Labrador full matted. It's a check coating on top of the Japanese beads. And then there are two colors of Miyuki Delicas. One is a neutral to make it easy for you to combine everything in the box. So it's the Duracode Galvanized Matte Silver. And the other one, again, the color of the sky, it's the blue iris. So it's dark blue, but you see there is something magical happening with those beads. They have this iris effect applied to them. And this is what was inside. However, what can happen when it lands on your bead mat? So after I selected the beads and components for your box, then of course I sent boxes to my friends, fellow designers, and then Orferonka created something magical. And it is as if one of the stars from the dark blue sky have landed on your, on your bead mat. So this is the design that you can bead right away from the box. The tutorial is a gift for you if you order it and everything is included in your box. Everything and a lot more, I can say. So as you can see, Veronica used here the 18 millimeter 
percussion cut, Bermuda Blue Cabochon for the Foco, but that was not enough bling for her. So right away, she started to play also with the seven millimeter Chaton Roses. So this is where she used the bezels, the square stitch bezels, starting with 19 pieces of Miyuki Delica. And then navets and vexolos and half tilas and the aurum preciosa bicon beads and the result is incredibly beautiful so in total the volume of the beads and the volume of the tutorial is well above 80 euros however it can be yours now for 69 or only 59 euros, an exclusive price for our be uh, beading school advent calendar beaders for two days from 3 p.m. Central European time today. So immediately the tutorial can be yours too. And I would like to show you also the backside of the pendant. So I have here a slightly different color combination too. So I used, do you see a difference maybe? Where do you spot the differences? I put here also the original. So let's try to find uh, where are the differences. Okay, Aniko sees that the navets are different, indeed. And someone spotted that the Chaton Rose is also a little bit different. So while I used the Dark Indigo AB in the original, then these are Caribbean Sea AB. So more towards the green. And yes, here you, uh, here you can see golden colored round 15s, but in the original there are silver ones. The bicon is also different. So this was partially from the box and partially from my, from my own stash. And I would like to show you the back side too. So this is how the back of the bezel is holding the cabochon. And then to make it into a pendant, I created a simple bale from three pieces of half tila beads. And then I can pull whatever cord I like through, through this bale, it's, it's big enough. So, Someone is asking, might the Chaton Roses show up on Advent Specials soon? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> so. And Ariana says, I like Veronica's different bezels. Me too. I think we can always learn something from her creations. She's just incredible with, with bezeling big cabochons. By the way, just a fun fact, she studied uh, to become an architect originally, and I think you can really see that in her creations. Margaret, I would like to see the backside one more time. So this is how it looks like, the rounded corners of the, of the, uh, Cabochon are sitting on the back of the backs of the bezel. It's totally secure. It's sturdy. And in the tutorial, you also have a picture of the backside to aid you, uh, aid you while beading. And the Caribbean CAB is something that for now it's only on my beat mat.
but who knows? And Margareta is asking, is the bale on a corner or sideways? So it will be hanging like this. Here is the here is the bale, a bow and a bat. Of course, it's up to you how you would like to turn it. But for me, I like it more if the navets are in one line from top to bottom. So this is what I would wanted to share with you today. And I would like to invite you with this box to take with me a sparkly winter night walk. And I would like to thank everyone who ordered a sparkly winter night box. Uh, or we'll order a sparkly internet box and I would like to share you I would like to wish you lots and lots of happy creative evenings while playing with it I would also like to invite you to be with me on uh, Friday for our next no one has to be the long session and there will be a slight change since as i mentioned unfortunately a substantial part of the beading school team is struggling with the flu so susie needs a little bit calmer time and she will draw for you the karina tutorial a little bit later however i am bringing to you matching earrings to go with your scarlet pendant so this is what we can beat together on friday you will need some half tila beads some three millimeter fire polished beads miyuki slender bugles six millimeter ones three millimeter preciosa bicons and a bunch of seed beads milky delica size 11 and milky round seed beads uh, in sizes 15 and 11. this part here is optional of course you will find it in the instructions how to beat this decoration and you can either make this motif into an earring like I did or you can connect several to each other into a bracelet I think that would be beautiful so I can't wait to be with you on Friday and wishing you a nice relaxing rest of the day take care ladies happy beating Bye-bye.